Welcome to Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma. Regularly taking a medication that briefly stimulates the body to produce insulin does not stave off diabetes or cardiovascular disease among high-risk individuals with impaired glucose tolerance, according to a trial published in the latest issue of the New England Journal of Medicine. Here is some information on impaired glucose tolerance. Also known as prediabetes, it is a condition in which the body's response to insulin is reduced. A sign of impaired glucose tolerance is a blood sugar level that is higher than normal, but not as high as those with diabetes. Impaired glucose tolerance is an important risk factor for developing diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Researchers representing the Navigator Study Group randomly assigned over 9,000 individuals with impaired glucose tolerance who also had cardiovascular disease or risk factors for cardiovascular disease to take the drug nataglinide or placebo up to three times a day. Nataglinide is a short-acting drug usually taken before a meal which stimulates the body to produce insulin. After an average follow-up period of five years, about 35 percent of participants developed diabetes, regardless of whether they were taking the drug or placebo. The two groups were also similar with respect to incidence of several consequences of cardiovascular disease, including heart attacks, strokes, and the need to be hospitalized or undergo treatment for cardiovascular problems. Those taking nataglinide were more likely to experience excessively low blood sugars. Today's research suggests that short-acting drugs that help stimulate insulin production do not offer health benefits for high-risk individuals who have impaired glucose tolerance. For Insider Medicine In Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.